In this activity, you're going to be analyzing uniform circular motion using lab results. Here's what it looks like. Basically, what happens in the uniform circular motion lab, you vary a number of parameters, mass, radius, and velocity. And you wing, the, uh, you wing some stoppers over your head, just like you're seeing here, and you measure the amount of force that's generated. You're going to be finding the relationship between three parameters and force. The data has been generated and given to you in an Excel spreadsheet. Frequency and period are related. So if you know the frequency, you can definitely determine the period. If you happen to know the radius as well, velocity, frequency, and period are all related. So I believe you're given the velocity, and you're going to be required to determine the frequency and period from the radius. The second and third parameters that you're going to be comparing to force are radius and force. and so. So you have data that varies the radius and uh, looks at the resulting force, and you also have data that varies the mass and looks at the resulting force. Now mass is varied by adding rubber stoppers. So the rubber stoppers are uniform mass. If you have one, you've got one unit of mass. If you've got two, you've got two units of mass. And so here's what your Excel spreadsheet looks like. Here's experiment one. Uh, investigating the relationship between frequency and force, and so the data has been gathered for frequency of rotation and force. Uh, there's some notes up here about uh, how much mass was used in each case, as well as the radius. You can determine period from frequency, and also because you're given the radius, you can determine velocity as well. In this section, I want you to do an analysis, so make some graphs, determine the proportionality constant of the relationships, and there are three there. And when you're done, come up with a proportionality statement for each of those three things. So force varies, I don't know, directly with, or force varies directly with the square of. So come up with proportionality relationships for experiment one. Experiment two, much the same thing. The relationship here is between radius and force. And so as you can see, you've got quite a bit of data and the resulting force data, as well as what the other parameters were when that was uh, gathered. Similarly, analyze your data here, provide some graphs, determine a proportionality constant, come up with a proportionality statement. The same thing goes with experiment three. When you're all done, come to an overall conclusion about the combined relationship. And so how do mass, velocity, and radius combined relate to the amount of centripetal force that's generated in a situation like this.